Hi everybody, um, Stripes here, and this is my new vlog. First, I want to apologize for not being able to make vlogs again. I know, I've been lagging at it like crazy, because I haven't made a vlog since, I don't know, February, March. It's been quite a while. Um, so the reason why, once again, it has taken me a little while to make vlogs is because in April, I made a really big change in my life. Um, I decided that it was time for me to finally grow up and become more independent and really get my name out there in the fitness industry and really head toward my career path that I have been not moving forward in. So with that being said, I just recently moved. Uh, like I said in April, I made a very big change in my life. I moved and I didn't just move, but I moved in with my boyfriend and it's been great out here. I live out here in Hollywood, Los Angeles area, so it's a lot more different from where I used to live. It was a very small city. Um, everybody knew each other and there was never traffic every five minutes. <laughs> um, it's a lot more different out here. I, I absolutely love it though. And in May, I got hired at LA Fitness and I teach Zumba still, so that's been going great. Um, I go to college, and I'm almost done with my first semester and about to move on to my second semester, so I'm really happy, and I'm so excited to, to be here and, you know, to, to experience all of this, and it's a lot more harder than I thought it was going to be to grow up. I mean, of course... I, I knew it was going to be hard. It's, it's hard being an adult, period. And it's hard living on your own. But it's especially harder when you've been living with your parents for your whole entire life. And you go from that to pretty much being on your own. And it is a huge life-changing moment and I I changed everything. I changed everything within the blink of an eye and sometimes it even puts me into shock, you know. I miss my friends, I miss my family, but do I miss my old jobs? Do I miss where I used to live? No. <laughs> no, I do not. I'm sorry, like I said, I, I miss everybody. I miss all my friends, all my family, all my old coworkers, but I do not miss that place one bit. Like, you know, you, people would say, oh, everybody in, in Los Angeles and Hollywood is, is, is so rude and so conceited and cocky. That may be true, but if you really think about it, there's people like that everywhere. And when I say that there's people like that everywhere, there's more people like that from where I used to live. So, deuces, alright? I'm so glad that I don't live there anymore. And all my friends and old co-workers would tell me everything that's going on at the places that I used to work at. And it's just jaw-dropping. And I'm like, bye Felicia. I'm so glad <laughs> that I lived when I did. And I'll tell my boyfriend all these stories, and even he's like, aren't you glad that I took you out when I did? And I'm like, yes, I'm very glad. <laughs> so what's been also been going on is, um, along with working in school, is I recently made a brand new YouTube channel. And it's going to be of me and my boyfriend. It's going to be called Digital Stripes. Now, it's going to be called Digital Stripes because um, my boyfriend, he makes his own music. He's a DJ, producer, blah, blah, blah. And his DJ name is Digital Kid. And I would always go by the name Stripes, so hence Digital Stripes. I know. It's, it's so surprising that for the first time, one of my names doesn't have Zelda in it or something to do with Hyrule. So, even I'm pretty so shocked at that. <laughs> but what we're going to be making is, of course, you know, our own vlogs. Um, 
We're also going to be um, becoming Let's Players. Um, what we're going to play yet, I have no idea. We recently just bought the, the Legend of Zelda Wii U. And we also have a Nintendo 3DS. Um, I have yet to get a brand new Xbox One. And yet, I still keep pre-ordering games for the Xbox One. <laughs> I know. I know, right? But anyway, so living in... LA slash Hollywood. So the Los Angeles part is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a combination of New York, San Francisco, and Las Vegas during Christmas time or something. I thought it was going to be like that all day every day, but it's actually not that bad. Um, at first I thought I was going to have to leave like an hour early for everything and or two hours early or three hours early. But no, a lot of things around me are walking distance. A lot of things around me are, uh, I can take the metro to. And the metro is very fast, it's very easy and very cheap. I'm so glad I don't have to spend gas money all the time. That's definitely a plus. Um, I unfortunately, I don't have my own car anymore. I sold it and so now my boyfriend and I share his car. And it's actually quite fun. I enjoy driving his car. It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee, so nobody better mess with me. Yeah, I'll run you over. But anyway, so the only bad thing, I guess, is when you leave late. I mean, of course it's bad in general, but when you leave late at a certain time, it just, it teases you. It's almost like, you know, life is trying to tell you, don't leave late. This is what you get for leaving late. Because I remember one time I did leave a little late for um, school. And this is about, usually it's about a two hour, one and a half hour drive. But last time it was only just one hour. But anyway, I left late, like really, really late just because I was so tired and... I was just feeling really lazy and <laughs> procrastinated all of this and so I'm on my way and I'm driving through West Hollywood no 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 you you don't drive through West Hollywood when you're running late and it's rush hour because there's traffic everywhere and the crappy thing is is that there's only two lanes so when there's two lanes and you're in the right lane you have to make a left turn guess what you gotta do you gotta cut in front of everybody and vice versa if you have to make a right turn but if you stay in your lane your lane's not moving at all and you see the other lane moving so you want to move but then once you move away the other lane starts moving and you're like oh my god why did I move I should have just waited here this whole time right it's terrible. That's the only bad thing. And another bad thing is how you have to pay to park, right? So I, I'm with Kaiser, the insurance, and I love Kaiser. They always know how to treat me and whatever, I guess since I've been there for so long. and uh, So anyway, so, you know, we, we go to Kaiser, and again, I, I came from a pretty small town, and when my boyfriend and I were looking for parking, he was like, uh, I don't want to park in the garage. And I was like, why? So you have to pay. I was like, excuse me? You have to pay to park inside a hospital? That's disgusting. Like, I was mad. <laughs> I was just straight up mad because parking for a hospital, that's unheard of. At least for me. And... And then next thing you know, I see the sign of when it says, you know, how much you have to pay. And it's very disappointing. I mean, of course, it is disappointing altogether for the fact that you have to pay for your health, right? It's always disappointing. So, I mean, other than that, like I said, I really like living here. All my Zumba students, they're fan-freaking-tastic. One of my students requested me to make a CD for her, and in return, she gave me a big old chocolate bar. That just that put a really big smile on my face, and I almost feel privileged, you know, being able to 
teach a class period again because of me and my disability with my arthritis and it sometimes it's overwhelming you know uh, I'm sitting there in front of my class and all these people are still following me and seeing the looks on their faces and knowing that I have this disability and I'm handing them you know this fitness and you think that you wouldn't take it from a physically disabled person you know hypothetically speaking you know you see someone that's physically disabled and you think that they can't do anything you think that it's not possible so the way that I see it is it's like how is this person that probably you know can't do anything is being my fitness instructor like holy crap you know you really don't think about these kind of things and I haven't told my students yet that I have arthritis I'm looking for the right day I'm waiting for my students to get more and more comfortable with me I'm starting to get my regulars I'm actually starting to get followers now I work at how many gyms do I work at? I work at three different gyms and I teach four classes and of course you know I sub on the side whenever I'm needed and when I'm available and one of my students just straight up told me that she follows me to my classes and that really touched my heart it really did and another one of my students told me how he's getting married in September and he lost six pounds and he said that it's all thanks to me and he just gave me like the biggest hug ever and I just wanted to cry it's it's one thing to be a fitness instructor and to of course you know change somebody's life but me changing my life along with changing other people's lives at the same time it's absolutely incredible I I can't explain in words how much of an amazing feeling all of this is so I'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering, will I continue shuffling? And to answer your question, it is yes. But when will I shuffle? I don't know. Um, I'm still getting comfortable out here. I mean, I know I've been here for a little while now, like four months. And I'm working, I'm going to school, and you know, my schedule, it keeps changing. And of course it always varies, especially when, you know, I needed to sub or if I need to go somewhere or do something, you know, run errands and whatever, but um, no, I'm not going to stop shuffling. I, I definitely sometimes, you know, practice <laughs> when nobody's home because <laughs> I don't really like being watched, which is weird because I post videos for the whole world to see, but when there's like people in front of me, I'm like, no. Unless if I'm like at a rave or something, then whatever. Speaking of raves, I just remembered. Uh, for those of you guys that, you know, really like hard style, which I do. I love hard style. Um, there's a rave going on on August 23rd. It's called Hard With Style and Headhunters and Wild Styles. And like three other people are gonna be there. I'm so sorry. I I completely forgot the other <laughs> DJ names. It's not that I don't like you guys. It's headhunters. Headhunters. And so anyway, it's out in the Nos Center in San Bernardino. It's only thirty five dollars. Of course, you know there's the service fee and the taxes and whatever. So, but yeah, thirty five dollars, and uh, I will be there. So anyway. So, yeah, uh, I don't really know what else to talk about. So, I mean, if you guys have any questions that you want to ask, like, or have any requests, as in, you know, you, you want me to shuffle to, like, a certain song, just please make sure that it is hard style because I no longer shuffle to um, electro or house or trance anymore. I mean, I might shuffle to trance, but... It's just, it's too slow for me now. It's not that I don't like it. Well, I don't like house music or electro. I do like trance. But anyway, so if you have any requests for a song that you want me to shuffle to, feel free to ask. Ask me in the comments. You can always message me or ask me on one of my social medias um, that is connected to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, um, subscribe, like, comment, message, add, follow, blah, blah, blah. You know the works. So 
Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and Stripes out!